Hey Zone fans, this is Scott Vorthman, the author of VZone. I'm going to share a little video here to show you how to make a nice model, a buckyball, a model of carbon 240, a fairly large buckyball. Uh, we will actually continue and make a bucky tube capped with ha the halves of that buckyball. Along the way, we'll learn some, some nice tricks and uh, powerful tools in VZone. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is set my direction picker to be single direction at a time. We're going to start building with yellow and we need some Y2 struts. So I'm just going to drag out a couple of Y2 struts. Okay, and I'm going to right click to bring up the pop-up menu and say set working plane axis and then turn on the working plane. I want blue struts, B zeros. So what this means is uh, no matter how I move the, tra the mouse around, I only get one of these six directions. I can use any one of the six, doesn't matter. And we're gonna make those two edges. So this, you could see, are the edges of a hexagon once I apply symmetry. Now let's remove some scaffolding. So I'll select that yellow strut, and I'll go to Select Neighbors, Command Option A, a very handy tool. I use it all the time. Now I've deleted my scaffolding. I'm going to leave the center ball. If I select all and deselect the center ball, I can now use the built-in icosahedral, icosahedral symmetry tool. And we can start to see the beginnings of our buckyball. We need some more struts, however. So we'll turn on yellow and we'll go to Y0. And we're going to build, uh, we have to turn off working plane in order to do this. We're going to build three yellow struts, kind of a Y configuration. Make sure you don't have this one sticking out of the ball too much. It should be a little curving along the ball. And I'll select this end and do select neighbors, apply my symmetry, and you can see that we're nearly finished with the bucky ball. We are just missing the pentagon edges. So let's go ahead and make our blue strut here and apply symmetry, and there we have it, C240. We can check, and indeed we have 241 balls. We've got an extra one at the middle. All right, but now let's continue and pull two halves of this structure apart and then fill it in to make a bucky tube. So to do that, I need an R1 strut I'm going to make any red strut in the middle, and I'm going to use that to make a translation tool, or actually two translation tools. So we'll start with outward, let's call it, create the symmetry tool, it appears here. <clears throat> now I'm going to select them in the opposite order for the reverse tool, and it appears here. So now let's use it. So what we knew is we're going to look down that red axis and select the five balls on the end, and we're going to use uh, select neighbors 15 times. We can watch it work. So we just start doing that. And that's what we need. Now I have it selected, I'm going to move it, so I'm just going to apply the the forward direction translation five times, let's say. Then we're going to do the, the equivalent on the other end, select the five balls at the end. It's not so finicky this time, we're going to just select neighbors until we've got everything. Okay, and we're going to move five times in the opposite direction. Select. Next, I'm going to need a symmetry tool that apply, that has the rotational symmetry around this axis. So I'll select that axis and create the tool. You notice there's 10 blue struts in this ring lying in a plane. We're going to select two of them. Select their neighbors three times. And we probably want to join those two bits and maybe get the other yellow at the other end and apply the symmetry to uh, replicate down the length of the bucky tube. So let's do that. 
and immediately you can see a problem. Before our translation tool was doing a move, now we needed to do a copy. So I'm going to undo that and right click on the tool and remove the delete of the inputs. And now we should get our copy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. So we're nearly done, but we can see there are some gaps. There are struts missing here. It's a little bit easier to see what we need to do if we look at it from this end. And we can see that we want this blue strut to be copied down that row and this blue strut to be copied down that row. And of course that has to happen five times all the way around. So we'll select our two blue struts, apply symmetry, so now we have 10. Again, I want to turn off the deletion on the reverse translation and duplicate those that ring of struts 10 times. And we're done with our Bucky tube. We're going to do one more thing, which is to select that red strut and its neighbors and delete them. So now we have our nice capped Bucky tube. And we can look and see how many carbon atoms. 640 carbon atoms, if this were an actual Bucky tube. Uh, there's one more thing you might want to do. If you want to see the shape a little bit more clearly, you can use tiny connectors. and then the edges, the struts are emphasized a little bit better.